circle work, sitting in a circle mm. with a woman has been incredibly powerful. Something that we don't get to experience very often and mm. it's so needed. And a lot of very deep and mm. profound transformations have happened in this five weeks. Mm. And yeah, and my heart feels very open and I'm mm. very grateful. Mm. It's a journey that mm. it's a real need to take that mm. would be beneficial for as many people mm. to take as possible because it's, it's so powerful. Yeah. Mm. It's so much gratitude. Mm. Thank you. Hi, my name is Gabriella. Um, so I got introduced to Zoe and her breath work uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, actually, it was a week ago, and I might—I've just finished a session with her, and it was absolutely phenomenal. Um, I am definitely someone who seeks um, truth in a lot of things, in, in in why I feel certain things, and I've done a couple of personal development workshops through uh, do meditations and things like that, but. I've never experienced anything as mind-blowing as this. Something shifted through my body during the whole process. Um, I still feel the tingling sensations at the moment. It's something that, yeah, I, it, it's, it's indescribable. But I can actually tell you that Zoe made me feel safe. She made me feel connected back to who I am. She really knew how to take me to those places that I needed to go to shift any blocks. Even though at times it did feel like, wow, what's going on? She held me through it and it was phenomenal. I, yeah, I'm just, to be honest, I'm still in awe of just how much impact she has made to my heart, my, just my entire body. I actually feel a sense of freedom. I feel like I'm just looking at the world in, in a different light um, it's just in a, it, it's like I'm looking at the world in awe um, I'm very and deeply grateful to um, Zoe for her breath work for, for opening up and offering me this and for me to saying yes and taking the chance in doing it so yeah my deepest deepest gratitude and thank you so much Zoe thank you so, much. so I experienced the sound healing session with Zoe and Tanya and I gave myself completely to the experience. I didn't know what to expect. It was a very, it was an exercise in trust and I came away feeling very privileged, very humble and words are not adequate to describe the emotional kind of um, experience that I had, but it was special to say mm. the very least. And I'm very grateful that I had the experience and the chance to be there. During the sound part when Tanya and Zoe were strumming the crystal bowls mm. uh, really had this experience of warmlessness. So just going really deep into my body and you're sort of lying there and you're obviously aware that you're still in the room but you're in this deeper part of yourself and you can't even really feel your hands you can't really feel your body and you've just got this sense of like warmth and comfort and yeah the the vibrations of the bowls really sort of bring you deep down into that and it's kind of hard to come back out afterwards but a really beautiful experience and something that you know you can get through meditation but this was a really deep sense of formlessness that was quite unique of an experience for me mm. Mm. so uh, just reflecting and trying to go back to that that space of the massage was it was just so amazing I was feeling mm. so shattered before it from the heat and the humidity and then it was my first kahuna mm. massage and my first massage with mm. any kind of sound healing yeah. and 
the storm rolled in before it <laughs> and I just I love the rain and the lightning and the thunder so having a somewhat sad week and a family funeral the week before it was just mm. so amazing to just get in there and mm. and cleanse and just have I see I thought I was gonna cry in the massage but mm. um, yeah just having all that water and there was <laughs> rain mm. everywhere running through the rain with a lightning strike <laughs> <laughs> to the tents and then having the little drips coming through the tent and just mm. having that water cleanse me and the both of mm. you I've never had two people in one massage and just the amazing energy you brought was so so amazing <laughs> so mm. I can't think of another word other than amazing and your voices mm. and all the songs you had talked about the sacred waters and the oceans and the rivers and the rains coming in on the tent and it's just I just felt so calm like I thought I was gonna purge so much grief but I was surprisingly just really brought back to my body and my center and I didn't feel the need to just let anything go it was more like just bringing it all back mm. and the the crystal balls you had my god the vibrations mm. were just amazing and then your voices would come in I was like I just felt completely surrounded by spirit and there was hands on my feet and hands on my head but then there was also hands elsewhere and I was like is there more people here it felt like there was more than two people and the vibration or were they mm. tongs yeah the, um that just mm. the vibrations mm. through my feet and my heart and my womb mm. and oh, I, it's really hard to describe in words mm. how amazing and beautiful mm. and clearing it was without having to feel anything but peace the clearing through peace it was just like wow and just I felt so out of it <laughs> afterwards like, like elated so elated but grounded so it was quite quite weird to feel yeah but just the whole resonance of the water mm. and the lightning. I could see all the lightning flashing mm. through my eyelids mm. and yeah, just all the sounds and vibrations and the rain and the thunder and the appropriate timing of thunder with your voice and vibrations and the bowls and it was just the most blessed, blessed massage I've ever, ever had, I think. It was like just everything came and was like, here you go, girl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's been just um, like there maybe is an idea sometimes that we can have of doing therapy or therapeutic work that creates some sort of there's some catch in us because it's going to be something scary or painful or unpleasant maybe or it's going to be work and this journey I mean, the past few weeks has been this um, gorgeous luscious beautiful holding space um, in amongst that everything has occurred like outpouring um, grieving feeling confusion and then clarity, excitement and anticipation, uh, witnessing of one another's um, joy, shame, pain, all kinds of things have unfolded in this holding space that is buttery and silky and welcoming and safe and uplifting and grounding so it's just been um, a 
very different experience of doing therapeutic work. Mm. It's just been with sisters flowing. Yes. <laughs> That's my short answer. Thank you. <laughs>